All right, hello everybody. It is I, the ADHD gamer. I have got my Mountain Dew to fuel me up and my vaporizer to help me with my sadness of the death of Mort the Mortician. Probably one of my favorite people that I've had in a community just because he's linked to the good old Bob's Burgers. One of my favorite shows has been for a while. But I have got us equipped. We're going to try out the firecrackers. I did make some scent block and more bloater gas along with some molotovs just in case. We've got guns because screw it. I'm ready to end this. We've got more bloater gas. We have enough to destroy all of these plague hearts already loaded up. It won't let me load another fuel can in. So we'll just have to run in here real quick. I knew I forgot something before I started the video. I got oh, the I can't. God bless it. Of course, my dumb self forgets one thing, and now I'm all flustered. I don't know what's going on. But our goal today is to try and finish off the Blood Plague. That is the hope. I am not necessarily super concerned with doing the legacy on screen I might do it I don't even who do we have is a we have a traitor don't we yes so in order to make that worth it we need something I don't need which would be the sheriff or a warlord I do believe uh, neither of which I'm too desperate to get we might do the sheriff just to get it done he gives us a little morale not super important Okay, so we're all fueled up. We've got a repair kit. I'm already missing a door. But we're going to go down here to this plague heart down at the bottom. I will not bore you. Oh my gosh, hello. Oh, and a feral. God bless. Y'all are persistent. Alright, bye bye feral. And I won't bore you with the rest of the drive because I doubt it will be that entertaining. So I will see you guys when we're rolling up to this plague heart. Okay, so we're pretty close. I'm going to go ahead and loop you guys back in. So what we're going to try and do is hit the scent block for this one. And then we're going to hopefully make it to the other two stragglers that aren't super far away. So we're going to start out by, nope, by using... Oh, nope. Don't think this is going to work. We'll just close that door. Run in a circle. And walk back inside. We have to find the play cart through all of these zombies. There it is. And we're going to hope that this works without killing me. So let's throw some firecrackers. And it's time to pray. Okay. Firecrackers do work pretty good. Now let's try and roll out of here. No pun intended. Car. Up front. Grab the car while we're getting in. Let's mark and drive like stink. So scent block, as you can tell, greatly reduces the threat of ownage. You saw the, the mass quantity of zombies inside that house. That's the lethal zone being the lethal zone. It will spawn just stupid amounts of zombies to guard the plague hearts, especially as you make it to the end. Once you start making it to the end of the spree, it is sending everything it has at you. This game is trying its best to kill you in every imaginable way. So your best bet is to use everything that the game gives you, scent block, bloater gas, molotovs, whatever. It does not particularly matter. You should just try and use all of it. Now I'm going to mow these guys down. And I think we're going to try and take this back door. It's 
stab him. Get out of there. Alright, I see the play card. So we're going to try and go through here. Nope. Nope. There it is. Okay, so that's a little bit more difficult of a spot to hit. We're going to try our best. So, firecracker. Ah! That's what I was concerned with. Very much what I was concerned with. Because now we are very, very, very injured with a feral running around. And he can't see, sense us entirely. He knows that we're over here somewhere. Alright, I think we got him. We have broke our car slightly. And our scent block is definitely going to run off, run out now. But I think we have cleared out all of these zombies. At least I hope we have. So we're going to throw another bloater gas and a molotov. And it's not working. Screw it, just burn them all. There we go. Alright, so these guys can't see me, technically. This is not the smartest thing to do to continue playing with this level of injury. And I don't think we're going to do it. Because now our... well... I don't know. We'll get over here and then we'll make a gut call. So there's a juggernaut here. Let's just go back to base first. It's just a straight drive. So we'll just head back to base. We will swap characters so that we don't get too owned and we will come back to it. But I will jump cut us to when we get to the next play cart. So I'll see you guys here in a couple of minutes. All right, and we are rolling up on the other play cart. Um, just because of the sheer quantity of zombies spawning, I'm going to go ahead and hit this scent block. Of course, if you have played Heartland, you will know this is Jurassic Junction. So this is an OG base, I believe, from the first State of Decay. Oh, I want to blow him up bad. I have bad experiences with bloaters already. Now, I am kind of upset at ourselves for scrapping our heavy weapon now. Because after we did that, I now have this guy with um, Powerhouse. Which is what we needed to take these out a lot more efficiently. Alright, so there's that. Let's run out of here. Quick, fast, in a hurry. And our last plague hearts are up here at the top of the map. But yes, this is Jurassic Junction. It is a base from Heartland and the first State of Decay, if I remember correctly. I never played the first one. I've only played this one. Um, but yeah, it's a pretty... I mean, the way you get everything in Heartland, I've only played part of it. It, it, it can be a pretty neat base. I mean, there's a lot to it. A lot more to it than I honestly expected. And it was pretty fun to play. I, I never really played it all the way through, like I said. But, I mean, the beginning of it was pretty neat. And I've heard a lot of people very much enjoy playing it. So, I mean, it might be worth a 
a look for for you if you wanted to play it as well gosh this gigantic horde by my house is driving me insane I just don't feel like dealing with that juggernaut is the main thing I should have turned right up there all right then we will do this in a different order than I originally planned so let's start yeah zombies can't really see me right now let's stab that one and while we are under the scent block effects let's go ahead and refuel because this scent block isn't going to last us through them anyways we'd be lucky to get through one with this level of scent block go ahead and grab all the stuff out and you know what if we pass that first one and the scent block is still fine, we'll use it. But if it's flashing, we're just going to go ahead and go up here to the one I marked. I'm pretty sure it's going to be flashing before we get to it, though. Because I think they only last like five minutes. So, I mean, you have to be pretty quick on the draw to knock out these plague hearts uh, with the scent block. I don't even want to know what makes the air taste so bad. Oh, there we go. Well, I don't know. It's not flashing. I guess I'll be a man of my word. It's not flashing, so we're going to go ahead and try and... Oh, this should be a fairly quick one, too. It's locked. If we can... No, get off. If we can get in here, it should be fairly easy. I gotta make this quick. Close the door. Oh, it's right there. Hello, zombie. Alright. Fire Firecracker! One. Two. Three. Oh no. Four. I think it is burning. Let's throw a molotov at it I don't want to use too many of these let's see nope screw it let's dump some ammo into it if we have to we'll come back for me. All right, let's get out of here. We have no more ammo. And we only have three of those left, and the scent block just ran out. So let's get out of here. Before this turns into a bigger nuisance than it already is. Only pro Oh, nope, it didn't wake up any other ones. Okay, so now we're going to need more stuff. So we're not going to be able to finish in this playthrough. Where is it? Oh yeah, it's over there. I'm sitting here looking at the wrong marker. We're not going to be able to finish this playthrough right just now. Let's see if I can get Lay Bloater chasing. There we go. He fell over. Sometimes this works to clear out the zombies. If you just drive in a big circle, it will oftentimes pull a lot of the hordes that are around the Plague Heart away, or it will just line them up nicely, I guess. Yes, I know a Plague Heart nearby stirs. There's another bloater. Oh, and a screamer. I can already tell this is going to be a fun plague heart. And it awakened it. Alright, so let's hit the scent block. And let's try and get this one. Screw it. Open the door. Let's go around these guys. Alright, so we're going to have to be brave once more. We're going to throw that.
go away. All right. Just like that, it's That's a plague heart down. We're taking this town back, one piece at a time. And I don't think we can loot it with all these zombies around. That being said, I'm still gonna try. Nope. All right, let's get out of here. If you crouch, you will get your stamina back a little bit faster. But let's let's escape and head back to base. Or actually, I'll tell you what. Let's. Uh. Yeah, let's head back to base. I will just do some looting of plague hearts off camera. I won't bore you with it. But I will see you guys when I get back to base. Alright, and here we are. Back at base. Let us throw the remainder of what we have in here. Or not in here into storage and we will swap out characters um, we will leave him with why, why are you doing that the vector we're gonna put this stuff up and we will use Pratt Pratt sure we'll use him and we will throw Dom in there. There we go. Do I need to? Yes. Press the button. So as you can tell, we are moving on up because of our plague heart murder fine. We are slowly getting up there. Now, since two of these plague heart, or no, just the one is awake, it will start to send siege problems our way. Now that being said, I don't really want to end this episode without finishing that dadgum plague heart. Trying not to swear. But I don't particularly want to dip out without ending it. So let's grab some random explosives that I have. And some painkillers and that. And let's go see if we can finish this thing off real quick. I I just I don't I don't like leaving it there. That just doesn't seem wise. Seems like I'm gonna have to deal with a whole bunch of infestations here in the near future if I just leave an awakened plague heart by itself. And I don't really want to do that until we get to the next playthrough where I'm actually looking at those infestations. Oh, so let's see if we can get over here relatively quickly and easily. But yeah, no, I, don't, I guess we'll have one more episode in it. We will smack down that last plague heart and do the legacy missions. I will do like I did in the previous Lethal Zone playthrough, and I will just cut you guys in when it's time for a mission. Um, I will look at who we're going to do it as. I'm assuming I'm going to do it as a sheriff, just because I'm 90% certain that I haven't done the sheriff one yet. Sweet, nobody here. Frag grenade. Frag grenade. There it goes. Alright, let's get the heck out of here. Feels good to reclaim some territory. Yep, there's a feral. That is one way to circumvent a feral is jumping in and out of windows. Goodbye. Okay. And on that, I will go ahead and just do an outro whilst I'm over here. Um, I have appreciated everybody watching. If you have enjoyed what you've been watching, please remember to like and subscribe. It does wonders for the algorithm and gets my videos out there to other like-minded survivors. 
um, off screen, I'm just going to loot up some more um, plague samples so I can get a little bit more bloater gas. And in the next episode, we will end this playthrough finally. It has been a long run with two deaths and a myriad of other complications. We never even made it out of Pterodactyl Park. I mean, we made it out of Checkpoint off Awful over there, but we stayed in Pterodactyl Park till the end, and we've got the base built up pretty good, I think. I mean, we never even had to upgrade our lounge all the way. I might do that whilst we're waiting for the legacy missions to pop, but who knows? Like I said, please like and sub subscribe. Any comments, questions, emotional outbursts, please leave in the comment section. I do love responding to the community. It is quite fun for me. It makes me really happy to actually talk to people watching my videos as this has been a... I don't want to say a dream, but it has been something I've wanted to do for a long time and just never been able to do it, honestly. I've never had the time. I still don't really have the time, but my wonderful girlfriend allows me to have the time rather than, you know, she picks up a little extra house chores so that I can do this instead of me, you know, doing more. She lets me enjoy myself. It's, it's quite nice. I never thought I would have that in a relationship but anyways enough of my personal stuff i will see you guys in the next episode as always i'm the adhd gamer i'll see you in the next one